Hello Taurus, this is going to be your February 2020 soulmate reading. I hope you're doing well. Uh, in this reading, we're going to go over your partner's thoughts and feelings for you. We'll also be going over the sexual energy with you and your person. And we'll be pulling some astrology cards to get, um, you know, just a synopsis of what's going on. All right. Um, in the extended, we'll be going over the outcome between you and your person for February. And we'll also be pulling from a different deck. We'll be pulling a Celtic cross spread. Okay. So Leo's extended was about 17 minutes. I was trying to get it to 10. That ain't happening. All right, so um, I will ask you all to please subscribe to my beauty channel. It's called Vanity Universe, and I also have a Instagram called Vanity University. So uh, if you could subscribe to my beauty channel and follow my Instagram, if you're interested, that would be really um, appreciated. Okay, Taurus, you guys have been coming in like second, uh, mostly. Sometimes you guys are like neck and neck with Leo, okay, as far as views, shares, comments, subscribe. So I really appreciate that. That's why you guys are getting your reading first for the month um and one of the first signs that i'm doing so please keep that energy up i really appreciate it me and you taurus we really resonate we're here i don't know what it is about taurus maybe because i have a taurus mars or something i don't know but we're here okay so let's go ahead and get into your reading taurus without further ado if you're interested in any of the personals that i'm offering until mid-february everything is in the description box there's love and sex readings for you if you're single love and sex readings if you're dealing with someone down there for the year we'll be going over love and sex for the whole year with you and your person and i'm also offering career ratings okay so if you're interested in that everything's down below all right so let's see what's going on for taurus and their person february 2020 what's going on for taurus some of you are dealing with a fire sign or a gemini let's see what's going on for taurus I'm seeing a Gemini. Some of you are definitely dealing with an air sign or someone who's just kind of detached emotionally. Okay. Aquarius energy. All right. So underneath everything, we have the full energy. This is Aries energy technically, but it can be some of the air signs. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. All right. Let's see the sexual energy between you and your person. I did pull this for Leo in the beginning, so I'm going to keep the same format. All right. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Leo. I'm seeing that here too. Okay, so your sexual energy for your person. Who A lot of people are not having sex with their person. Even on Instagram, I do a Freaky Friday reading on Instagram where I do sexual a sexual-based reading on Fridays on Instagram. And I, I was seeing that for this last, uh, this past Friday. No one's having sex with their person. Like you could be having sex with somebody else, but you're not having sex possibly with the person that you're interested in. Because the Seven of Swords is their energy. Back is turned. They're being technically deceptive. So their back is turned to you, okay? So there's a lack of sex with you and this person. And then we have the strength card for you, Taurus. So you're holding back as well. You're holding back your passions for this person, okay? Um, this definitely could be a Leo, though. So I'm seeing a lot of Leo energy here. So Taurus connected with Leos. This is definitely probably going to be your reading, okay? So your person's thoughts towards you is the justice card. So you could be connecting with the Libra. We know that's Libra's arcana. But I feel that you have cut this person off, Taurus. Um, some of you cut this person off. So there's a feeling like you are expecting what you deserve. Okay. With the Justice card, they feel like you are expecting what's right. Okay. So you have possibly cut this person off because you were getting what you feel was the, the short end of the stick. Or you weren't getting what you deserve. Okay. For some of you, I was getting this in Leo's reading. Some of you could be married. So this person could see you going through a divorce, possibly for those of you who are going through a divorce. Okay. This could be a third party situation. I'm not really focused on that in this reading. I do specific third party readings. So if you just, you're new to the channel and you are in that situation, you may want to go back and watch Taurus's third party readings. They're all on the playlist. Okay. But for this reading, we see the justice card. So some of you may have cut this person off. Um, I am being drawn to the black and white on this card, which I'm interested in usually not so this could be a twin flame energy okay so let's see their feelings we have the high priestess you two are not communicating you and this person are not talking some of you could be a pisces cancer okay but you're not talking to this person there's a lack of communication some of you this definitely is your twin flame it's a divine counterpart and this person knows that you expect the best you expect the righteous energy not the seven of swords bullshit so you cut this person off possibly because there was a sexual connection with you and this person while they were with someone else or they just weren't looking to commit they feel like you want commitment with this justice card you want the right thing which is com commitment okay and since there is a strong connection between you and this person with this high priestess here um 
they're very interested in what's going on with you. But this this is not to me something that I don't see you're asking for much. You know, if there's a strong connection here, I don't see why this person can't commit other than they may be already committed to someone else. All right. With the high priestess here, though, they feel that you're mysterious. They kind of want to know what's going on with you. They are interested. OK, they may even be getting readings on you or they may feel like you're getting readings on them or you're watching readings on them. Hi. Right. So um, there's a lack of communication very strongly here with this, this person. OK, they feel like you cut them off, though. I kind of get that you cut this person off there's a there's a quiet because you wanted it with this justice card that's what i'm getting we have the sun energy you feel this person some of you is a leo okay for some of you you feel this person is a leo but you really um think very positive about this person so if you had to cut this person off i feel like it's not something that you wanted to do with you thinking of them as the sun now this also could mean that this person comes back into your life in february that they come back around this could be a reappearance of someone so this could be a reconnection with this person so you could feel like they're coming back into you but i also feel like you think very positive about this person with the sun card here all right the circumstances might not be the best but you do have a very positive outlook when it comes to this individual with the sun here energy here three major arcana is already sitting out on the board i want to point that out king of swords gemini libra aquarius so you feel like they're being detached as well you're mirroring each other the Justice card in the, in, with their thoughts tells me that they feel very positive about you, but they feel you're not playing no games with them. Like you're in the Queen of Swords energy. So some of you, you may have air significantly in your chart somewhere, but they feel like you're asking for the right thing. So I don't think that they think negatively about you. I don't. They may feel negatively about being called out on their shit, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, but the King of Swords, you feel like they're detached, Okay. Um, or you detach from them. There's a very cold energy between you and this person right now. This all this all insinuates there's a lack of communication here. Some of you, like I said, you're dealing with an air sign. I was getting that very strongly even when I was shuffling. You got air sign energy all through here. So it's like where we go from here at this point. Not communicating at all. Holding back. There's not even a sexual connection right now. There is a sexual connection. But you guys are not, you know, in, you know, dealing with each other on that level. So we have a Yod here. This is a Destiny card. So your person is being called to do the right thing even by spirit. Even by the astrological gods. This is Destiny. This is something you can't avoid. So your person is trying to essentially avoid their Destiny. And that's not going to end well. They're, probably the next thing for this person would be a Tower. We got the fire element. You Leo got this too. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Leo because Leo got the same card a few times. They got it in there extended too. Give me another card. Second house. You're focused on your finances. A lot of you have just decided to go within and focus on your career. That's why they're seeing you as the high priestess because they can feel like you're very focused on your career, your abundance, your um, own self. Okay, some of you are not dating. You could be, but some of you have literally gone into like a state of... Um, celibacy or just you know staying to yourself okay some of you are married though some of you tourists watching this y'all are married so it's like you guys are at a stalemate because you're both married or something like that or you're getting you are in a process of a divorce see the sun card keeps coming out i don't want to keep repeating myself but we know whose major arcana that is so yeah some of you are definitely just focused on your assets, though. You're focused on owning things. You're focused on building your brand, your business. Your person has the 12th house energy coming out. Some of you, this could be a Pisces. But again, this is escapist behavior. This is someone who is not, like, literally seven of swords. They are not trying to go towards their destiny. They're trying to escape something that was already written before they got here. Good luck with that. You're just going to wind up having to repeat it. Trust me. I know. I have Saturn retrograde. It's not fun. Okay. So let's get some clarity on these cards here because that's what I need. I need to find out why we're not talking here maybe or maybe more about this. Why is this Justice card here? Way too many cards. Some of you are dealing with the Scorpio though. They wanted to be heard. That's de that death card dropped right. It just flew out. What's this Justice card? Some of you are probably ending things with the Scorpio though. Nine of Wands. They feel you're very guarded. Yeah, you're not taking anything less than what you deserve. You're not here for the BS anymore. You're willing to go around with them again. You're willing to start new with this person because the, the nine of wands in case there's an ace of wands. So you're you're willing to go back down this road with this person or have a new start with this person, even deal with them on a, in a sexual capacity again, but they have to do the right thing, okay? Whether that is getting a divorce themselves or um, maybe you're wondering if you should get a divorce, but you're not trying to get a divorce if you are not going to be with this person. I will say this, you guys, I don't like that. 
Um, if you're going to get a divorce, do not do it for another person. Okay, regardless of that's not why you should be getting a divorce. And I know people out there like that, so I'm speaking on it. I'm sorry if you feel some type of way. Um, but if you're getting a divorce, get a divorce because it's what you want. Don't get a divorce just so you can be with someone else because you're going to wind up possibly regretting in the long run because you might even wind up with that person, but it may not just be smooth. Like, oh my God, I divorced now we're together. And no, it's going to be a process. So it's like, if you're going to really like get a divorce, if you're married, please do it because it's what you want to do. And it's what's right for you. You're okay with being single if that's what happens. Okay. Don't ever make a huge decision like that based off of someone else. Okay, that's just my opinion because I, I read for people who are dealing with that and I'm just telling them that's not really the way to go about it. Leave your marriage if it's not for you, okay, for you, period. Ace of Swords upright. So again, this is energy of divorce possibly, paperwork. So somebody could be waiting on a divorce to happen, okay? Or it's already been um, filed and someone's waiting for finality. But um Ace of Swords, you cut this person off or some of you. I get that. You cut this person off. Some of y'all could be married to this person. And um, I don't know. If you're married to this person, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to salvage this one. If you're already married to someone. Because I'm seeing the energy of possibly one more chance of reconciling. And then that would be it. If you're married to this person. Okay. Um, damn it all the way in my bathroom seriously <laughs> okay um let's see we have the five of swords in reverse page of wands king of cups magician okay so you have someone yeah this is a twin flame right here okay when we have this magician gemini virgo aries energy okay um you have someone who wants to start back up though the five of swords in reverse it, it kind of gives me the energy that this person i know the five of swords in reverse is different for every reader but in reverse it's telling me that there's a lack of like there was a stalemate when it's upright when it's reverse it's telling me that someone wants to come out of that stalemate and i feel like they want to communicate their feelings at page of wands and king of cups this person deeply wants to come out of this stalemate with you but they are not they know that they can't um give you the same thing that they were giving you before so someone is coming back different with the sun card here um in february for you taurus i do see someone coming back more emotionally available to you wanting to start over again page of wands yeah see you're in hermit mode from somebody possibly a virgo or this person's in hermit mode from you king of swords hermit also came out in leo's reading so yeah queen of swords in reverse there was some possible lying um manipulation the communication was rough between you and this person so i feel like you guys cut it off because it was just getting um yeah it was just getting too much someone may have blocked the other one if there is blocks like literally someone blocked the other one through facebook however you guys communicate i see someone possibly unblocking the other one though you see why is this okay yeah let me put this up right yeah there's going to be a new start with this person in february um because it's undeniable. This connection is undeniable. It's destiny here, especially with that yod coming out. So what I'm seeing is a lack of sex in February with this person. Maybe even now you're not dealing with this person sexually. But as a result of that, I think you're going to get more emotional stability with this person. More expression from this person. Um, but we're going to go into the extended now because I want to see where this is going. This is definitely some two people who are not communicating but I feel like someone's coming back around to you. I, re I definitely feel like that this person doesn't want to um, fight or be at a stalemate anymore. They, this person wants change. I think that they're trying to escape this, but it, you can't escape destiny. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the extended. I'll see you over there. We're going to get into the outcome for you and your person in February. We're also going to pull from a brand new deck, fresh deck for you guys, right? Brand, not brand new, but it's fresh for y'all. We haven't looked at your energy with that deck. And we're also going to be pulling for uh, astrology cards, okay? So I'll see you over there, Taurus. If not, make sure you comment, like, subscribe so you guys can be number one or number two, wherever. So I'll do your readings first. All right, Taurus, I love y'all. I'll talk to you later. Bye.